Tom invested 15,000 Rand for three years at 5% per annum on simple interest. Now, one of the things that you must know is that the PA that you see here in front of you means per annum and per annum basically means every year, each year or it means yearly. I've chosen a simple example and when we're looking at this, the same principle that you see in the simple example applies to more difficult examples. Okay, whenever we're looking at a question of this nature, there are just three things that we must look out for. Firstly, we will look for what is called the principal amount. We look for what is the interest. And the third thing is we look for is the number of years. So by looking at this example here, we see that our principal amount will be the 15,000. Our interest will be 5% per annum. Take note of the per annum. And the number of years will be three years. Okay, there are two types of questions that can be asked to you and we will be looking at the two types. The first type will be calculate the amount that Tom will have at the end of the three years. Now, by meaning end of the three years, it means what he will have all together after he invests this money. So in order for us to work out what he has all together at the end of the three years, we need the principal amount. That's what he invested, which is the 15,000 plus the interest that he'll get for each year and we'll add all this up and that's how we end up arriving at our total amount at the end of three years. If you look at the maths learners, they usually use the formula in which to work out a question like this. But we've explained that uh, with maths lit learners, we advise you use the year by year approach. This actually gives you an opportunity to gain marks should you make a mistake along your calculations. So Let's use this method here, but speak to your teacher and see what's best for you all. But uh, we suggest that you use the year by year approach. And this is the approach I'm going to be teaching you now. And you'll present your answer like this in the examination. So what we are doing here now is we are finding percentages and you would have done percentages in uh, your syllabus. So all we are doing is finding 5% for each year. So if you look at year one, year one will be 5% of 15,000. And you punch this directly into your calculator. Remember, when you're punching in your 5%, you make sure you include the percentage sign and you will get the 750 as your answer for the first year. Now, we'll do the same thing for year two. And if you notice with simple interest, it's the same thing for the entire three years. All you're doing is finding 5% of 15,000 for each year. So we're going to do the same thing when we get on to the year three. Remember the explanation we did in the beginning that the total amount is the principal plus the interest. So now that we've worked out the interest for each year, we present our answer like this thereafter. And it will be 15,000 plus our 750 for each year. And you show your full working. Remember that you show full working because you don't want to disadvantage yourself in the exams. And our answer will be 17,250. The second type of question will be the calcul calculation of the interest only. And in order for us to do this here, it will be the total amount, which we've already worked out, minus the principal, which we know to be 15,000. And then we'll get our interest that we accumulated for the three years. If we present our answer, remember earlier, we worked out the total amount to be 17,250. That was our step one. And then we got our principal amount to say 15,000 and you subtract those two amounts and you'll get 2,250. These videos are made short for you to remember the concept and by remembering the concept you can apply the same thing into difficult questions which we will look at at later videos. So thank you once again for joining me and have a blessed day.